Stay tuned to learn more about this incredible, extraordinary young prince, his stunning one-of-a-kind personality, and of course, his palaces, insanely expensive private jet, and taste for half a million dollar a week vacations. Many of today's young royals are least concerned with what is happening to humanity and planet Earth. But that is not the case for the respectable prince Moulay Hassan of Morocco. You probably find this a little confusing. I mean, after all, he is worth $1.5 billion and is bound to inherit the Kingdom of Morocco, one of the most beautiful and culturally rich nations in Africa. So should not he be enjoying his life, hanging out with beauty queens, on the beaches of the most exclusive retreats money can buy, and collecting exotic European cars? Well, he probably does, but he keeps it private and away from the public eye, just like his father. Nevertheless, we managed to get a glimpse of his lavish lifestyle that we will tell you all about in a bit. So keep watching because his story is quite admirable. Moulay Hassan bin Mohammed was born in the majestic Rabah Royal Palace on May 8, 2003, which makes him only 19 years of age. He is the elder child of King Mohammed VI of Morocco and Princess Lala Salma. He is also named after his grandfather Hassan II. Upon his accession to the throne, he will probably bear the name Hassan III. Amazingly, despite his young age, he speaks quite fluently four languages. Arabic, which is his mother tongue. French, because Morocco was a French colony for about four decades. English, because it is the most common language for international communications. And Spanish, because Spain and Morocco have been interconnected for hundreds of years during the Islamic Empire. He is also very clever and managed to get a baccalaureate in 2020 and later joined the Faculty of Governance and Economic and Social Sciences, an affiliate of the Mohammed VI Polytechnic University in Ben Gurrier. Moulay Hassan is also known for his good looks, impeccable fashion sense, maturity, intelligence, and dislike for having his hand kissed during public lineups. His first name Moulay is an Arabic word that means my lord. His behavior and activities point that his repented father, who was known for his insane lavish spending habits that cost about $1.2 million a day, and was even nicknamed the Playboy, in his early days has been working hard to make sure that his son takes a different path that is more focused on politics, education, social work, and taking Morocco towards glory. As a result, Moulay Hassan has been an active royal since he was a child in 2015. In fact, he is already acting as a king and performing many royal duties. He was the youngest participant at the One Planet Summit in France in 2017, where he gained international acclaim. In 2019, he represented the king at the operations launch ceremony of the new port Tanji Med 2. He also attended the funeral of the late French President Jacques Chirac, which took place at the Saint Sulpice Church in 2019. On the same day, he took part in the lunch organized by President Emmanuel Macron at the Elysee Palace in honor of the heads of state present at the funeral of the deceased President Chirac. Many heads of various states were seen approaching and mingling with the young prince, which is something quite admirable. They know that he is active and involved in many international issues that will and are already influencing the young population of the world. Recently, he inaugurated the International Exhibition and Museum of the Biography of the Prophet and Islamic Civilization at the Islamic World Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization Rabah. Mind you that this was an event for the heavyweight elites of the Islamic world including Saudi royals. Nevertheless, the crowd was very impressed with the prince's presence, dedication, speech, and adherence to protocols. In 2021, he presided over the opening ceremony of the 14th International Agricultural Exhibition in Morocco. He is also known for his interest in promoting education, climate change agenda, and transparency in business. Even though he can use his status to force his way as a partner in many of Morocco's most successful corporations, he is, by all means, a bookworm and seems to dedicate quite a lot of his time to studying. He is currently preparing to take the entrance exams to the prestigious Royal Aeronautical School. His interest in aviation is a hint that he is planning to become a member of the Moroccan Royal Air Force, which would be a first for the Moroccan royal family which has ruled the country since the 17th century, making it one of the oldest in the world. 
Mule Hassan has a net worth of about $1.5 billion, which he did not accumulate from his hard work. The money was simply given to him by his father, who is known to be worth no less than $10 billion. Well, probably much more since he is the king and ruler of an entire country. Most of the young prince's wealth is in the form of stocks and bonds that his father manages on his behalf. About 12 years ago, his father went from being a playboy who was costing the Moroccan taxpayers more than a million dollars a day to a savvy, self-reliant, semi-conservative family man and devout Muslim. His first step was to turn many of the breathtaking massive heritage and modern royal palaces into luxury hotels and tourist destinations. This endeavor brings him about $100 million a year in profits. Apparently, he has transferred the ownership of some of these palaces to his son Mule to teach him how to run a corporation. Mule Hassan also has stakes in Society National Dinvestissement, which is a holding company that has stakes in several publicly traded companies, including the country's largest bank, Ati Jariwafa, mining company Managin Group, sugar producer Kazu Mar, and dairy firm Central Dunnone. As a result, Mule Hassan's monthly income is around $5 million a month, which is quite great for a 19-year-old. So where does the young prince live and spend his money? Well, he has quite a few heavily guarded fortresses on massive lots with scattered luxury buildings and guest houses that are straight out of this world. There are numerous official residences all across Morocco that are owned by the royal family. Many were turned into hotels, while others are out of the public's reach, but still have some parts that can be accessed by tourists. So without further ado, here are some of Morocco's most opulent and impressive royal palaces. Mind you that photography is not permitted at any of the current royal residences, including the outer walls and ornamental gates. Number 1. Dar Jumai Palace The Dar Jumai Palace was built in 1880. The palace has a beautiful old traditional Moroccan design, including colorful tilework, sculpted plasterwork, carved wood, and arched windows. Surrounded by beautiful gardens, the palace is now home to a museum that displays traditional arts and crafts from around the country. Number 2. Palai Dar Al Beda. This palace is quite old and was built in the 1700s. However, it is a superiorly beautiful grand castle. It is not accessible to the public because it currently serves as a military office facility. The building was constructed to accommodate the most lavish tastes. There is a mosque within the complex, as well as two sweeping courtyards that are surrounded by numerous gorgeous chambers. Number 3. The Royal Palace in Meknes This stunning official royal palace in Meknes is not accessible to the public. However, visitors can see the architectural splendor from outside and the palace's huge ornate main gateway set into the high outer walls. According to some insiders, 100 kilograms of gold was used to decorate the main royal living quarters. Number 4. The Royal Palace in Fez Fez Royal Palace is surrounded by high walls and impenetrable gates. Its perimeter is constantly patrolled by the royal guards who are sort of aggressive when it comes to people approaching it. They quickly shout at people who try to get too close or snap a sneaky photograph. It is said that the inner area covers 80 hectares. All we can see from it are the huge and heavy brass doorways surrounded by cedar wood and zellij tiles. One can imagine the endless luxury the royals are hiding inside. Number 5. El Bahaya Palace If you ever decide to visit beautiful Morocco, then you must visit Marrakesh architectural gem El Bahaya Palace which was constructed in the late 19th century. This stately palace has detailed tilework, cedar wood ceilings, tad elect walls, ornamental plasterwork, internal fountains, elegant arches, and lots of natural light. It also has amazing well-manicured large gardens. Number 6. Dar El Maxin Palace This former royal palace of Tangier now hosts two museums. Although Tangier never served as one of Morocco's imperial cities, the palace was used by the royal family on their frequent visits to the northern coastal city. It has a breathtaking view of the Strait of Gibraltar, and the palace's main rooms surround two large courtyards. Graceful columns, some of which date back to the Roman era, marble fountains, high wooden ceilings, traditional tile work, and other eye-catching elements can be seen around the palace. Number 7. Dar al-Maxin Palace in Rabah 
This palace is the official main residence of the king and his son Prince Moulay Hassan. It was constructed in 1864. The rather large complex has several buildings, including those used as homes for royalty, guest quarters, and accommodations for the Moroccan Royal Guard. The flowers-filled gardens are everywhere within this majestic massive complex. Number 8. The Royal Palace in Agadir The Agadir's Royal Palace is also one of the present Crown Prince's residences. It is located close to the quiet town of Inizgain and has direct access to the beach and ocean. Within it lies a massive leisure park exclusively for resident royals. Number 9. The Royal Palace in Casablanca Of course, the royal family has a magnificent palace in Morocco's largest city, Casablanca. It has a grand monumental gateway that shows a little of what lies behind the rather plain outer walls. The palace itself is a majestic piece of Islamic architecture, with a huge open courtyard at the front and fragrant citrus trees in the gardens. The royal home is located in the French-built Hebus Quarter, also known as the New Medina. So, all these palaces and many more technically belong to the Crown Prince Moulay Hassan, who is bound to one day become the king. He also owns a $65 million Gulfstream GC650 private jet that is equipped with a $20 million missile defense system. The interior has been described as custom-made and super luxurious. The jet can carry eight people and an additional crew of four and travel 14,000 kilometers nonstop. The Moroccan royals are extremely secretive and private. However, they have been seen vacationing on the Serenity Superyacht, which costs only half a million dollars a week to rent. He also has access to his father's $100 million stunning luxury mansion located close to the world-famous Eiffel Tower. The majestic property boasts 12 bedrooms, a swimming pool, a games room, a private garden, and private parking. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit the notification button to get updates on our latest videos that cover the hard-to-track and elusive luxury, net worth, and business issues associated with our beloved, rather secretive celebrities.